Little Red's Secret Sauce. Once upon a time in the southwestern desert, there lived a coyote. He wasn't very big, he wasn't very small, but he was very, very mean. The mean medium coyote loved all kinds of yummy foods, but he was much too lazy to cook. He often stole food from his neighbors, but what he enjoyed the most was tricking people into giving him the delicious meals they had worked hard to prepare. One day, the mere medium coyote was walking down the trail where a delicious smell filled the air. Uh, I smell chili, he said, sniffing happily. It was pinto beans, red onions, sniff, sniff, green peppers, and black olives. Only one person in the southwest makes such a tasty chili. The person was Little Red. Her, her spicy chili was her best dish. The coyote, <coughs> the coyote stopped with Little Red as they passed on the trail. Where are you going in the desert with a pot of chili? Asked the coyote. The, then he thought to himself. How can I get some? I'm going to my gran granny house, Little Red told the coyote. She's sick in bed with a fever. My spicy chili will help her sweet it out. The medium, medium coyote's mouth watered from the male smell. He wanted the, the spicy chili. He needed that the spicy chili, so he came up with a really mean plan. I will take Granny's place to take sure he would arrive at Granny's house before Little Red. He told her about a shortcut through the desert, but the shortcut was a really, really a long cut. The mean medium coyote raced to Granny's house. He grabbed the poor sick Granny, shoved, shoved her into the tool shed locked in the door and threw away the key. Then he put on, on one of Granny's neighbor tons, neighbor gun, night guns and jumped into her bed. The chili will be mine, all mine. He cried joyfully. I hope there is sour cream in the house. Coyote's plan to trick Little Red might have worked, but I forgot that the tool shed was full of tools. Many used the tools, Granny used the tools to break out of the shed. When Little Red finally arrived at Granny's house, Granny told her what had happened. Little Red was furious. When he heard what the coyote had done to her granny, she said, If that me and medium coyote wants something spicy, he's going to get it. The little red poured a whole bottle of her secret hot sauce into the chili pot. Now little red secret sauce was the spiciest hot sauce anyone has ever made. Her sauce was so hot that the folks needed sunglasses just to read the label. Her sauce was so hot that it could burn a hole in a hole. She had never put more than a dash of her hot sauce in the chili before. But no one had ever been as mean to her granny as the coyote had been that day either. Little Red went into the big the house and threw the super spicy chili into the coyote in her granny's bed. Leave it, dearie, and close the door on your way out, said the coyote in a high-pitched voice, trying to sound like granny. Little Red, you sound awful, granny, which was sure. It must be my sore throat said the coyote. 
I thought you had a fever," said the little rat. That too, added the coyote. And what happened to your feet? They are so big. It's the heat. It's making them swell up like balloon balloons. And the one big nose you have, the better smell you're chilly with. And the what a big mouth you have, the better to eat your chilly with. Well, I hope you have a big appetite. Appetite," said the little rat, as she spooned up a mouthful of her super spicy chili. The mean medium coyote smacked his lips. Then he thought of something. Shouldn't you heat it up first? He asked.、Um, "I think you find it's quite hot." The little rat with her sweetest smile. The coyote grabbed the spoon and the hot pot of chili. He had was too greedy and selfish to ask the little rat if she wanted any. Even though he was a coyote, he ate like a pig and wolfed down his food. Yum yum, yummy! The hot sauce kicked in. The coyotes. Elbows jumped out of his hide, and、uh, the coyote jumped out of the bed. I'm in my town," cried the coyote. "Wah wah, ah ni wah wah, ah!" said the little rat. Granny came rushing into the room and translated. He said, "You burn my town. Water, I need water." Yes. Cried the coyote. Wah wah peace. Being good hosts, Granny and the little rat took the mean medium coyote outside, and gave him water. In fact, they gave him a lot of water. They dumped a bucket of water on him. The coyote dripped the water from his head to his toes. I hope you will think twice before trying to trick people to steal their food again," said Little Rat. "You owe me a new neighbor town too, night gone too," added Granny. The coyote is most still on fire from eating all the super spicy chili. Tried to run off, he slid, slid. And slid through the mud and landed in a puddle with a big splash. The only thing he could eat now was the mud pies, but at least they were cold. As for Granny, she didn't get to eat any of Little Red's famous chili that day, but she felt much better after seeing what happened to to the mean medium coyote. Laughter rarely is the best medicine.